So come and lie all the way down onto your back. Knees up, arms at your sides. Just settle in. Any adjustments you need, just get really comfortable. Let shoulders drop back. And take a few breaths. You could bring your hands to your belly if that's comfortable. And it can be a really nice connection with the breath. Beginning to lengthen each out breath. Feel yourself sinking more heavily into the ground with each out breath. And beginning with some small movement, just turning your head over to one side and let it rest there for a bit. So still letting shoulders drop down, easing through the side of the neck. Notice if you're getting any pulling into the shoulder. And then turning over to the other side. Coming back through center, this time we'll let the knees drop over to one side, just to wherever they fall. And if you want to, you could turn your head to the opposite direction. And come over to the other side, just take your time, no need to rush. Knees fall across and head turns over to the other side. back up through center and we'll hug one knee up taking hold with both hands gently hug it in towards you now spread your toes and just circle the ankle one way and then the other flexing and pointing And then bringing your knee open kind of to the diagonal. So we want to keep both hips level on the ground so that we're not rolling off to the side. So you may like to use your other hand just to hold it in place. And propping the elbows so the knee just comes to wherever you naturally turn out from your hips. then we'll bring the knee all the way over to the other side so pass it to the other hand make sure you're not lifting off the hips so keep that anchored to the floor you might bring the foot to the other side of the leg depending on how far the knee moves across so this will be a little bit different for everyone you could be feeling it around the outside of the leg or into the hip or even a little bit of pulling into the groin area or up into the torso And then coming to a neutral position, holding with both hands, slide the other leg out long. So you might let it hover just off the ground so that you can get it straight. Now flex that other foot, so push the heel away from you. Keep hugging this knee in close to your body and then extend the leg up high. Bring it in and switch sides. Okay, so just gently drawing the knee in towards your body. Relax shoulders, notice if you're tensing up a lot around your neck. 
and chest and shoulders. And then we'll let the knee fall open to the side, noticing where your natural turnout is, around about to the diagonal, maybe a little further, but just make sure you're not lifting off the hip, anchor it down. Passing up through centre and over to the other hand. Foot hooks across or stays on the inside, that's up to you. Try and anchor the other hip down, shoulders drop, and just gently drawing the knee towards the midline or just past the midline of your body. Coming back up through centre, holding with both hands, hug it in close, slide the bottom leg out long, push the heel away so it might just hover off the ground, bottom leg is really strong, then pushing the heel up towards the ceiling, just moving with control and bringing the leg in, and just rocking back and forth. Oh, I should say side to side, it makes more sense. And then we'll come all the way over onto a seated position. So coming up into seated, cross legs. Take a moment to readjust to being upright. Hands on your knees. Loop the shoulders up, back and down, circle up, back and down, and one more time, uh, just let them drop away from ears, keep lifting up through the crown of the head, close your eyes if you want to, just feel the vertical alignment in your body so we're not popping the ribs forward, we're gently drawing them in, we're not hunching and rounding back, we're stacking from the pelvis to the ribs to the shoulders and up to the to the crown of the head let your breath be full right out into the rib cage now clasping or interlacing your fingers pushing palms forward and around out through your upper back. So now we'll scoop in through the belly. Push the hands forward. Just duck the chin down. Moving over to one side. And around to the other side. Coming to the first side again. This time we'll start to lift a little bit higher. Sweep forward and over to the other side. This time coming all the way up. Scooping forward, coming up higher. Now coming right to the top, so push your palms high. Try and loop the shoulders back and down, so we're pulling them back a little bit more. Contain the front of the body. Keep pushing palms as high as you can, straighten your elbows, take another breath in. With your out breath, push the hands out wide and float fingertips behind you. Roll the shoulders back and down, plant your hands or stay propped up on fingertips. So lift the chest proud, this time we can open the ribs as much as you want. Tip your head back if you like. And then slowly coming forward. So tipping your ribs forward of your hips. Float hands in front. Feel your breath shift into the back of your body. 
So you can feel the back of the ribs starting to flare open with each breath. Coming around to one side, you can stretch the arm out as long as it feels good. And then around to the other side. Bring one hand onto each knee, put one hand behind, lift and lengthen and start to spiral around. Now think about moving from the middle of the spine, so around about the base of the ribs, so we're not twisting the hips, turning through the middle, across the upper back, the shoulders, and turn your head, float your eye gaze behind. A little bit of pressure into that other hand, help rotate. Another breath here, turning a little further with the out breath and we'll pass back through centre, one hand on each knee, other hand comes behind and rotate. Just let your shoulders fall away, let go of the tension. One more breath here. Can we back through centre and over onto hands and knees. Okay, planting your hands. Strong pose. Shoot the right leg out long. Try and keep it around hip height so we're not bending in the middle of the spine and we're not rotating the hips open. So we're staying nice and level here. And then we'll bring knee right up close towards your chest and lift your thigh up towards your body. Send the leg out long. And bring it in. Lift it up close towards your body again. And then we'll take one big step through into a kneeling lunge. You can keep your fingertips on the floor if you can reach or if you need to be a little bit higher, you can have your hands up to your thigh. So just staying here for a couple of breaths. And then we'll plant the left hand, turn your body open towards the thigh and reach your arm up. So adding on a twist, make sure we're not collapsing into this lower shoulder. We want to be lifting out of the ground reaching up to fingertips and then float the hands down and come back to hands and knees. Reset your hands and knees, tabletop pose. This time we'll shoot the left leg out long. So we've got a little squeeze in the glutes there. Knee comes in, bring it up close towards your body. Shoot the leg out long. and bring it in close, hug it right up towards your body. So a little bit of clearance underneath as we step the foot through into your kneeling lunge. Make sure it's right the way forward so that we're not all cramped up here. So you can take a couple of steps if you need to to get there. You can be high, you could be a bit lower. Easing into the pose. So here you might be getting a really good stretch up through the front of the hip. And let's take our twist. So plant the hand, breathe the arm up, try and lift and lengthen out of the pose and keep rotating. And then float the hand down, coming back to your hands and knees. Plant your hands firmly, tuck your toes under, Let's come up higher, so we're coming up into our down dog now. 
pushing your hips back towards the legs. Think about lengthening all the way up through your torso first, and then we can start to see how much knee bend we need. So you might start to lower heels towards the ground if you can do it without arching through your spine. Just hold and breathe. Just like when we were seated, we want to be drawing in through the ribs so we're not popping the ribs through, we're containing our posture. Good, strong pose. Okay, now float the right leg up, only to where you can without twisting your hips. So we'll keep it around about, how do I describe that? Keep, <laughs> keep your hips level without rotating open. Coming forward, bring your knee up towards your chest. So we've got shoulders right over the wrists and we're lifting thigh up close to the body. Send the leg up, keeping your hips square. Coming forward again, lifting thigh up towards you and then take a big step through into your full lunge this time. So easing in, you can come up higher if you need, hands to thigh or you can stay low. So dropping in, keep that back leg super strong. So engaging the quad. Hold for another breath. And then take your twist, plunge the left hand down, reach your right arm up. Broaden across your chest as we rotate open. Back leg still super strong. Hand comes down and we'll make our way back to our down dog. Same thing on the other side. Let's just set our posture first. So plant the hands, send the hips back towards the legs so the weight is right back towards the legs. And then once you're feeling strong and stable, float the left leg up. Coming forward. Right the way forward, shoulders all the way over your wrists. Lift your thigh up towards your body and then shoot the leg up again. Coming forward. Lift and take a big step through. So you can take a couple of steps if you need to to get the foot all the way forward. Dropping in, come higher if you want or keep fingertips on the floor. Power up that back leg, make it super strong there. Hold for a breath. And then bring right hand to the floor. Float the left arm up. Turn your shoulders open. So make a lot of space to breathe here. And then bring your hands down. Just rocking back and forth a couple of times and then step all the way back. Okay, this time we'll lift the right leg up and we'll bend that top knee and allow your hips to rotate open. Make sure you're not letting that bottom knee fall inwards. So we want to keep the kneecap pointing towards your nose. Stay strong in both hands, keep your shoulders level. Allow the pelvis to rotate. And then this time as we come forward, we're bringing the knee right up towards the elbow. So it's around the outside. Try and lift it as high as you can. And then sweep up and over. So rotating hips, level shoulders. Coming forward, knee to the outside of the elbow. Hold for a breath. And then step your foot just outside your hand. Tuck it in really close. Spin the back heel down and walk your hands to the center. So bring your feet parallel to each other. Press down into heels, bring your hands under your shoulders and tilt your hips up high. Try not to drop through the middle so we're not popping those ribs open. We're containing the rib cage, lifting belly button towards spine. 
So you can have your knees as bent as you need to here, but then we'll start to tip the hips a little bit higher and try and lengthen from the tailbone out to the crown of the head. And then start to walk your hands in towards the invisible line between your feet. So tipping hips up, support yourself as much as you need to on your hands. You might be quite high, you might be coming lower. Everyone's different. Pulling up through the kneecaps, engage the quads. So you might be feeling quite a deep stretch up through the hamstrings. And let's come around to the front foot again. So we'll spin on the feet, lift the back heel, plant down into your hands. So we've got shoulders over the wrists. Okay, and then to come out, we'll lift the hips just a little bit higher, rocking forward and back. Start to lighten this front foot and then sweep it up and over. Three-legged down dog. Touch down and come to the other side. So it's the left leg that lifts this time. Make sure you're not twisting the standing leg. Rotate your hips open, bend to the top knee. Keep your shoulders level. So imagine that your armpits are at equal distance to the floor. Coming forward, keep shifting your weight right over your hands. Knee comes up towards the elbow. Even lift it a little bit towards the shoulder. Then sweep the leg over again. Coming forward, knee outside elbow. Lift it a little bit higher and then take a big step forward. So it's just outside your hand. Depending on which way you're facing, you might want to spin around. <laughs> okay, spin on the feet and come around to your wide leg forward fold. Hands under your shoulders, tipping hips up. Make sure you're not dropping in the middle. So we've got that nice alignment from the pelvis to the ribs and out to the crown of the head. Now press into the outer edges of your feet. So there's a little bit of activation in the insteps of the feet as though you're trying to lift the insteps while also pressing into the mound of the big toe. And then start to walk the hands a little bit closer in, either propped up on fingertips or coming a bit lower, depending on your own flexibility. There should be no strain in the lower back. Okay, so keep that nice and long. Holding for another breath. And then walk your way around towards the left foot again. Lift the back heel. Plant your hands. So bring a lot of weight into your hands so that front foot feels lighter. Just rocking back and forth a few times. Then power down into your hands and sweep the front leg, oh, sorry, yeah, the left leg, sweep it up and over. All right, touch down. Bring your knees to the floor and sit back onto your heels. Bring your forehead to the floor and arms down the sides of your body. So you may find that your hips sit high above the heels, that's perfectly fine. Just let yourself ease into the pose, letting your breath shift into the back of the body. Now coming up to a kneeling position, and then lift your hips directly above your knees. So here we want to engage the glutes. So we've got a little tip down of the tailbone, drawing in through the ribs and belly. 
Okay, so we're not making a banana with the back. We want to be contained and strong, aligning knees, hips, shoulders, crown of the head. Hands come to your lower back. Loop the shoulders back and down and start to ease back. May not be, may not seem very far. Okay, so just go wherever you can, maintaining the stability in your posture. So it's really important that we're not just folding at the lower back. We want to be tipping the pelvis with a downward motion in the tailbone and an upward motion in the front line of the body. You can look up if it feels good. You can tip your head back. Keep hugging your shoulder blades towards each other, almost like you're trying to make your elbows touch. And try pressing into the tops of your feet. Okay, and then you can start to actually shift back a little bit. So we're not just curving back, we're also hinging from the knees. One more breath. And then very slowly rise on up to upright. Sweep arms open wide, palms face up. Hands touch. Press into the tops of your feet and sit hips back towards heels. Hands down through centre. Now hinging forward again from the hips, belly over thighs. Arms come behind you, forehead to the floor and breathe into the back body. So we'll take a break now and then we'll do that mini sequence again. So really use your breath like a counter pose, just breathing into all the space in the back of the body. And then coming up again, if you don't feel comfortable doing it a second time, then you can just stay in a child's pose. Otherwise, if you're with me, Let's find our strong, stable posture first. So we're squeezing the glutes, tipping tailbone down, pulling in through the front line of the body. Brace your hands, hug elbows in. Make sure you're not totally popping the ribs open. So there is a difference between containing yourself and starting to hinge back, rather than just letting everything, flaring, everything flare open. Find a comfortable position for your neck where you can still breathe, of course. Push into the tops of your feet so we're actually starting to hinge back even further. Coming out slowly, coming upright. Sweep arms wide and rise high, hands touch, sit hips back towards heels, slide down your center line, tipping forward, lay belly over thighs, arms down the sides of your body, and just focus on your breath. Fill all the space in the back of the body. Let your shoulders relax. Now just come and flip all the way over onto your back. Face any way you want to. And bring your knees up towards your chest. One hand onto each knee. Try not to squeeze in too tight, especially after doing that back bend. So we just want to treat the spine with care. And then bring the left foot to the floor and send your right leg high. You can have a bend in the knee if you feel really tight through your hamstring. Here the focus is on keeping the backs of the hips connected to the floor. 
you can hold behind your thigh you can hold higher if you want to as well but just make sure you're not actually lifting the hips off just by pulling the leg towards you anchor and gently hug the leg in so i'm not worried about how bent it is feel for yourself the best stretch that targets the back of the leg you can keep the pose a little active by flexing the foot And of course you can slide that bottom leg out long if it doesn't make your back arch away from the ground. So if it does, bring the foot up again. Taking the leg in the same hand, so in the right hand, left hand comes to your hip and float the leg open to the side just as far as it will go without rolling off your hip. Okay, so anchor, you might find that it's still that same diagonal as when we did it when the leg was bent. Support the leg by propping your elbow to the ground, still trying to keep these hips level. And of course, you can always bend up that bottom knee if that helps to keep your balance. And then we'll pass the leg to the opposite hand. Here it might only get to about the midline of the body or just past without lifting off that other hip, the right hip. So see if you can find a stretch down the outside of your leg. It could be running, running all the way up to the lower leg. Maybe flex the foot if you can't feel it. If you can't feel the stretch, if you're looking for more intensity, try pulling the toes back towards you. Okay, and then just switching legs over, bring the right foot to the floor, left leg up, bent or straight it might seem a bit stiffer on this side in comparison until we've spent a bit of time here so push the hips into the floor even try flexing that foot if you're looking for a bit more intensity and of course if you like you can straighten out that bottom leg make sure you're maintaining your posture float the leg out to the side just take it slowly so you can see how far you can turn out naturally without rolling pelvis over to centre or just past, holding with the opposite hand, maybe try flexing the foot if you're looking for that stretch, maybe you need to come a bit further or just bring some more intensity to the muscular tension just so that we can feel that stretch down the outside. Bring feet to the floor, knees up, just like we did at the start. Let your knees fall over to one side. Maybe turn and look away. Let your body feel really heavy now. And then over to the other side. Come 
coming up through centre, soles of the feet together, knees open wide, or you can bend knees up, feet flat like we did at the start, arms beside you or hands on your belly. Just a few minutes here. Focus on letting everything relax down, settling in heavily from your head to your shoulders, to your torso, down to the pelvis, to the arms and the legs. Relaxing fingers, softening into the palms of the hands. Softening your face muscles and allowing your breath to slow and quieten. start to bring in some movement really slowly again. You might want to stretch out legs, float your arms over here, really stretch out long and then gather up small again, lugging knees towards you, maybe rock from side to side. And finally, making your way back up into a seated position. Take as long as you want to to get there. Hands on knees. Loop your shoulders up, back and down a couple of times. And let them fall away naturally. Settle in, but find your beautiful long posture, sitting with ease. Let's all finish together with one more breath. Arms open to the top. Hands touch, slide down your centre, coming back home to your heart space. Thank you so much for coming today.